Hello, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a better way that I've found to use green screens in DaVinci Resolve. So, without wasting any time, let's get into this. So the background that we're going to be showing through today is this mirrored flower and the green screen footage that we're going to be using is this green screen footage here that I just found on YouTube which was free to download. So I did and this is what we're starting with. And we're going to pop into Fusion, drag this more toward the middle, grab our media in, hit shift spacebar to open up your select tool menu, type in clean plate right there. Hold shift, drag this out of that line, drag your media in output into this clean plate. And then up here in your inspector, instead of using color, there's the ranges option. So you're going to go ahead and select a whole range of colors just like this, get a bunch of them, and then we're going to add in our delta keyer. Make sure nothing is selected, shift space, delta keyer, right there, hold shift, drop it in this line. So it's connected. Now we're gonna right click and drag our clean plate output into our Delta keyer and hit clean plate. Back into our clean plate, we're gonna grow our edges. And we're gonna give that a look in viewer one. It's completely full, he's completely full. We'll get into our Delta keyer now and we are going to go ahead and play with some of these settings. Pre-blur is gonna blur it around him from the input that this is getting. So we're gonna turn that down because we don't want that fringe to be very big. We're gonna bring our threshold up a little bit and we're also going to bring the top end of it down a little bit because if you look in the middle of them here, you can kind of start to see some of those checkers. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that down until we can't see those anymore. And then we're gonna zoom in here by holding control and scrolling. And we're gonna erode this just a little bit. Just enough to make that little blurry edge go away. That looks good right there. So if we play this, okay, we need to add to our ranges. So pop back into the clean plate. Just select that. You watch through and you look for areas where green might come up. And if it does, you just real quick swipe over it, select it in your ranges, and you're good to go. That's done. Let's check this out over here. He's standing on top of the flower. I mean, the original footage isn't super high res, but you can see that we got a nearly perfect key in probably under two minutes. Hopefully you learned something about green screening today. This is the fastest and most effective way that I've found to do green screens in DaVinci Resolve. So hopefully you enjoyed learning about it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because 95% of my views come from unsubscribed people. So if you watch a lot, if you could subscribe, it would mean a lot and it actually does make a difference for the channel. So think about it if you watch and you haven't subscribed. Also, if you're looking to help out in a little bit extra of a way, there is a Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. I think that wraps it up. So, I will see you tomorrow for Fast Fridays.